I did get those little trolls that were like, you got your degree for what? Like, what was the point of getting your degree? What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Para el video de hoy, you guys, we're going to be talking about a few things. If you guys don't watch Pero Anoche, I just talked about how I quit my job not too long ago. So I will be answering some questions about that because I was getting so many questions and so much love about that. But um, I'm also going to PBR today. Um, I've never been, I'm super excited, pero tengo que hacer tantas cosas, you guys. Like, I have to get my hair done, my eyelashes done, so we're gonna go ahead and get a fill today. Um, my eyelash tag actually moved into a new spot. Look how cute that is. So she's actually in a tattoo spot, so I'm super excited. Let's go. Sheesh, aquí es donde me voy a dormir, you guys. This is where I come to take my nap. <laughs> Um, so if you could see, my eyelashes are looking a little crusty. Ya me regañó, you guys, because when I was in Mexico, I was like picking them off. And so well, we had to go a little bit lighter, but you know what, I ended up loving them. And when I showed my husband, I was like, they're short. He was like, I actually like them better. And I got used to it and I was like, oh, I kind of like them better like this. No, no más porque dijo Jorge, but. Anyways, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and take my nap. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in a little bit. This is the before. Okay, bye. <laughs> Salimos. So as you can see, I got my eyelashes done and I love them. Um, like I told you guys earlier, me dio una buena regañada because in Mexico I was like peeling them off and I normally get them longer, but um, she said that I have to go lighter because my eyelashes are so thin and there isn't so many of them. I, I suck, I know. So we have to go lighter so that they're not like hanging or that they don't fall off easily. Anyways, I trust her. So um, I've got to so many lash girls and they're all good, you guys. But I'm so picky. I'm so, so, so picky. So the first time I went to her, I was like in love. And I was like, dude, she's a badass. So I love going to her. Ya iba en camino para hacerme el pelo because I'm going to dye my hair black again, like a touch up and the freaking gaslight turned on so i'm like ah you guys i can't remember the last time i pumped my own gas i'm like how dare jorge not put gas before knowing that i was gonna take it <laughs> honestly you guys i'm so spoiled in that sense where i don't have to pump gas anymore and I love it. Like, get yourself a man that pumps your gas. Um, so I am waiting for the gas. I'm like five minutes away from my hair appointment and I have to be at my friend's house by 5 p.m. So I'm hoping she's gonna dye my hair, wash it, style it. So then I just have to get home, do a quick body shower, do my makeup, change, and boom. I think I'll make it, but we'll see you guys. Oh my God, it didn't even pump gas, I'm so pissed. I gotta go. I'm so pissed, you guys. I'm over here talking to you guys. Like, ya voy tarde y ni se estaba llenando. I barely put it back. Oh, what is wrong with me? Anyways, okay. Hope she's not mad at me. She's like, I'll wait for you until one o'clock. <laughs> it is now 106. Pero ya la avise and we're good, we're good. So let's go, you guys. We're only five minutes away. I haven't ate either, so. Hey, hey. Ya vamos llegando, you guys. Antes de salir de la casa, le dije a Jorge, I'm like, oh, I'm like, how short should I cut it? And he looked at me so fast. Oh my God, I'm gonna miss my parking spot. He's like, no te la vas a cortar. <laughs> I was like, I'm just kidding, George. <sighs> okay, you guys, ya llegamos. Poquito tarde, pero llegamos. <laughs> Sorry, girl. <laughs> it's all good, girl. Okay, so we're gonna, do you wanna do the whole thing? I think so. Okay. Just to like revive it, because I feel a little. Okay. Do you want to do the full color black and then gloss it on top with black or we can gloss it on top with like a clear shine? What do you think is better? I don't know, what do you think? I want like the darkest dark you garbage. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna do black mm -hmm. and then we'll do the second part which is like another just like 
blue black kind yes. of situation. I love it. Um, it'll end up just being super, super dark okay. and shiny. Perfect. I think that'll be good. Let's do it. favorite part. Okay guys, Yame lavó el pelo and now she's gonna put a gloss in, right? It's like a, yeah, it's a colored gloss. It'll make it even, the, even more black. Like a black blue and make it super shiny. We love dark, 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 dark black. <laughs> You guys, it is 2.34. <laughs> I'm supposed to be at Jessica's house at five o'clock. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but we're gonna try our best, okay? I already thought it was <laughs> camera died i'm so mad so i had to use my phone but i'm home here is the after i know it's not like a big difference obviously because i mean my hair was already black no más acá arriba estaba como café um here are my eyelashes we're popping me voy a bañar como like so quick you guys it is 3:53, and según iba a estar allá en su casa a las 5 but I already told my girl I might be a little bit behind. Like I think I can leave my house by five. So I think we're good time. Good time. Um, porque nos tenemos que ir de su casa a las seis y media. Anyways, I'm gonna take a shower. I can't wait to show you guys my outfit because I think it's super cute. I'll explain where I got the outfit. I mean, I'll try to remember. It's in Los Callejones, but I don't know the name of the store. I'm sorry, guys. Next time I go, I'll try to find the name of it and get the card and everything so I can show you guys all the details because this is the second thing I bought from there. The first thing was this outfit I got in Mazatlan and everybody seemed to love it. And I got this, the outfit for today there too. So I will show you guys later, but for now I'm gonna go take a shower really quickly so I can do my makeup. Y sas, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm so excited. Okay guys, so I am in such a rush. I'm trying to get ready so, so fast. I ended up getting a new um, foundation. I got the soft matte. It's the new NARS foundation. It's like full coverage. I mean, I've been using it. I've used it like twice so far and like I like it, but I don't know. Like I can't tell the difference to be honest. Um, also right now I have, if you can see my face, I have the NARS um, Custard Soft Matte Concealer. It's supposed to like help cover up like acne because normally when I do my uh, makeup, you could still see like, like the redness in my acne. So I wanted to get something to cover that up and I saw some girl on TikTok using it. And yeah, you guys, I'm trying them out. I am in such a rush, it's so late what's new so i'm gonna get ready in fast mode are you guys ready ready set go i'm just excited to show you guys my outfit let's go let's go let's go <laughs> Porque ando en chinguitiza, pero no pasa nada. Ya me han visto hacerme mi maquillaje muchas veces. Ok, fast mode, ready, set, go. You guys hear Jorge? <laughs> He's like, what the fuck, pinches, que ya estaba lista dos horas. Ya. Porque según tú y yo teníamos que estar en su casa hace dos horas, Jorge. Oh my God. Dice PBR en la noche. 
Well, uh, que quien chingas va a ir. Eso fue hace dos horas. What the fuck? Ya, yeah, y tú, yo te dije también que te alista hace mucho tiempo. Yo no, no podía. Ahorita, ahorita me pongo el cienazo. Anyways, you guys, hace rato, si me siguen en Instagram y si no, aquí voy a dejar mi página. Pero les estaba diciendo que. Ya vengo, déjame pongo. Si no me siguen en Instagram, aquí voy a dejar mi página. No. <risa> Just kidding. Ok, so si siguen para noche, you guys, vieron que dejé mi trabajo. And, ¿qué les digo? I received so, so, so much love from you guys. So many people that were able to relate to me. I was getting so many questions. I was getting, like, everything. But everything, like, 95% of it was um, positive, you guys. I did get those little trolls that were like, you got your degree for what? Like, what was the point of getting your degree? You know what the point of getting my degree was? I got the college experience. Like, literally, I'm so happy that I went to college. I'm happy that I didn't have to pay for any of it, you guys. I, gracias a Dios, I got financial aid all throughout my college experience, you guys. What did I do with the extra money? I bought my car, I went to Europe, I bought my books, I paid for my food. Like I was living my best life, you guys. Um, if I could give you guys any tips about college, get involved, join groups, join clubs, get just get involved as much as you can on campus, you guys, because those are the memories that you're gonna have for life. You're not gonna remember what you learn. I mean, you're gonna remember what you learn <laughs> in some classes, but you're not gonna remember like so much the classes what stays with you is the memories the people you meet the experiences like the activities you do and all that good stuff so anyways i'm happy and i have absolutely no regrets that i went to college um at the end of the day of course you're gonna benefit from it even if you don't use your degree um so yeah you guys um at the end of the day i was happy where i was for five years and after the five years were up it was time for me to go yo trabajé en la escuela por cinco años i was working for lausd um at first i was not working in the classroom i was working um as a campus aide and the only reason why i got that job was because i had met somebody that works at the school through like a leadership program and she's like yeah i work at the school like we're hiring and i was like you know what? i really need a job because it was at the point where like um, I had just met Jorge, I think, and I needed a job. Like I wasn't even like picky about it. I was like, I need a job. And it was only like a few hours. It wasn't a full day, it was a few hours. And while I was working that job, one of the um, paras, paraprofessional, she was um, retiring. So when I heard she was retiring, I was like, oh my God, I wanna work with special ed. Like I wanna be in that classroom. I thought they were like the cutest. Um, I would go into the classroom like when I didn't have anything to do I would go into the classroom and I would just like hang out with the teacher I would help them out whatever they needed like I was there to help them out so eventually I ended up transferring and getting that job which I loved because it, it included benefits. One of the biggest questions was, I kept saying in, in the video like aseguranza and people are like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I was talking about the benefits. I never once mentioned I was talking about the benefits, but working for the school district for LAUSD, they have amazing benefits and that was the scariest for me to leave behind because not only was I on the insurance, my husband was also the, on the insurance. So I was scared that like, okay, what if in the future somebody gets sick and I don't know what to do and witty 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 like that was my biggest fear and then everything happens for a reason you guys we ended up going to up north and one of my cousins um she's like oh i know this amazing woman that can help you with that and so we had an appointment with her and like she's really 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 helpful every time i have a question i message her and she is super helpful uh I'm talking fast because I'm already late, but I really, really, really want to answer some of y'all's questions. Um, so do I regret leaving my job? Absolutely not. Do I miss it? Yes. I'm still in contact with the people I worked with, the, the ones that I spoke to, right? And they're all amazing people. And uh, honestly, the school does not deserve them. No se los merecen. La escuela, sincerely, I hope they all transfer to a different school. 
I just feel like they're not appreciated there. A lot of you weren't even asking questions. They're just like, I'm so proud of you. Like you go girl, like big things are coming. When one door closes, another one opens. A lot of you are just so, so, so supportive. Um, and yeah, let me see what else I can find. Um, a lot of you are asking about the insurance. Honestly, I, the best advice I can give, it, it, cause it all depends on how much money you make um, on your job and all that good stuff. So my advice is find someone that works in insurance. Um, I don't know if I could post her information on here. Um, she actually lives up north, so she doesn't even live in LA. So another question that I got asked is how did you choose between jobs? Like how did you cho choose between which one you wanted to do? You guys, honestly it was so easy in a sense that like I knew what I wanted. It was obviously so hard to leave as you guys saw in that video. I was crying my little eyes out. Pero se me hizo fácil porque like no estaba feliz allá. So yo supe que lo que me gusta hacer es grabar, o sea, tenemos la tienda, me gusta sentirme libre, hacer lo que quiero, cuando quiero, y no tener que preguntarle nada a nadie, ¿verdad? So, it was so easy to choose between what job I wanted to continue in, and I'm so, so happy that I finally told you guys. La mera verdad, tenía miedo de decirles porque dije, Ay, ¿cómo van a reaccionar? Pero 95% de ustedes, sinceramente, like, you guys are so good to me. Like, no, no me los merezco because you guys are so good. Sí me recuerdo de un comentario que me dijo, oh, ¿cómo que te sentiste como atrapada si nos dan fin de semana, veranos, inviernos, spring break? Te, te dan tantas vacaciones, sales temprano, ¿cómo que te sentiste como atrapada? And I'm just like, Mira, lo que funciona para mí no funciona para ti, and vice versa. A mí no me gustaba, o sea, si yo quería ir a visitar a mi hermana a las 12 del día, pues voy. ¿Me entiendes? Como que si, si, si íbamos a ir como a Colorado, a porque me acuerdo, me acuerdo en ese tiempo, iba a ser el baby shower de Blanca, and I was like, no voy a poder ir. Like, I can't ask for days off, ya no puedo pedir días de descanso, like, no voy a poder ir. Y Blanca me ha dicho, mira, entiendo si no puedes ir, like, no pasa nada. And I was like, fuck that. I was like, yo voy a ir. So, literalmente la semana antes, es más, era la semana antes, es cuando dejé mi trabajo. And I was just like, ah, uh ah, -uh, like, si yo quiero ir a un lugar, me estaba perdiendo de tantas oportunidades como de ir a muchos lugares por mi trabajo. And I'm just like, estar en casa, like, tienes que ver como, ok, desafortunadamente trabajar por una escuela no te paga igual que, que otras cosas, right? I mean, cada trabajo paga diferente. Y para mí, yo tenía que ver, ok, ¿cuánto estoy ganando acá? ¿Vale la pena ir estas horas o estoy perdiendo dinero? En, este, en estos momentos, yo estaba perdi perdiendo dinero en ir a trabajar. Does that even make sense? It doesn't make sense, you guys. So there was just so many reasons, but I'm so, so happy that you guys were so supportive. I continue to get messages and I try to respond to as many as I can, but man, you guys are dope as fuck. I fucking love you guys so much and I apologize for cussing, but seriously, I was so scared to tell you guys and after I did, I was just like, on cloud nine you guys are amazing um but that's it you guys if you guys have more questions i will answer them on my instagram because i feel like i've just been talking too much about my job um but if you guys are honestly looking to work like um at a job that it isn't all day i was literally i would go in at 7 30 i would get out at 2 and it was the best you get insurance like if you have a family like that's a good job because you get the benefits you're out early and yeah like if you guys are really really interested i could even send you guys the information because i think they're hiring because you know a lot of people are quitting unfortunately which was also so so hard but anyways a big shout out to all of you guys to all my co-workers and yeah i'm gonna finish getting ready you guys because it's already 505 and i am running late but i can't wait to show you guys my outfit hold on okay i'll be right back okay you guys ready antes de que les enseñe les tengo que decir que todavía no estoy 100% lista pero Ya nos vamos, voy a terminar lo demás en el carro, mis labios, mis aretes que no puedo decidir cual quiero. Um, and yeah, so let me show you guys my outfit. Here we go. No me puedo ver, déjame decir mejor que me grabe para que me vean. Damn. Oh yeah. Wait, no. <laughs> 
Okay, you guys, so aquí está mi outfit. Damn. Yay. So, so como ya les dije, no estoy 100% lista, pero en el carro voy a decidir los últimos detalles, mi labial, bla, 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 bla. Porque ya nos están esperando, so ya. Yeah. Te enseñaría el afe de mi esposo, pero todavía no está listo. Así que les go. Míralo. Ay, Jorge. Oh. Ok, you guys. Ok, you guys. Yo sé que al final del video estaba como un poquito rapidito. Like, andaba medio a precio. Me entiende, ¿no? I was like rushing, but. Um, no pasa nada, cualquier pregunta que, que tengan, ahí me lo dejan en los comentarios, you guys. Me lo mandan en Instagram, cuando sea, y voy a intentar de responder lo más que pueda. Um, como siempre, ya saben que los aprecio un montón y las quiero mucho. And I really, 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 really appreciate you guys. Todos los mensajes bonitos que me llegan y hasta los negativos, porque a veces es como que te prende un foco como, oh, y luego los bloqueas y estás, ¿verdad? I don't know if you guys understood that, but I do. Um, pero por lo pronto, you guys, nos vemos en el próximo video. Espero que les haya gustado este video. No se les olvide ponerle like, suscribirse y prender las notificaciones. Ahí me dejan saber en los comentarios qué tipos de videos que quieren ver por aquí. Um, por lo pronto, ya me voy porque por la quinta vez, o oh, ya ni sé cuántas veces dije que ya es tarde. But I love you guys so much. Y no se les olvide, vayan a ver el video en Pero Noche porque ya sé que se va a poner bueno el ambiente. So, anyways, shout out to Jessica for inviting us to this event. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!